So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. Well, we got the five of wands. And it's with the will of fortune. Now the five of wands can refer to, it can refer to competition. This could be in the area of work or it could be personally. But it can sometimes refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you could be successful, but you're going to have to try just to see results. Now, when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change when you get the five of wands. Just know that you can be successful if so. Now it's with a will of fortune. Well, with this card, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. It has that too, like everything else changes. So you have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So five of wands clarified by the will of fortune for the recent past energy for you and your person. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that You could have felt like you had to fight for this connection just to win it or just to stay on top of it. Um, and you did because you felt like things were changing for the better for you and your person. Or you had hope that things would change for the better. But yeah, there was some type of challenging situation, or you could have found that um, there could have been romantic uh, rivals um, that your person brought to the mix, or you just had to fight just to keep it going. Yeah. But you did, because like I said, with the Will of Fortune here, it's indicating that you felt like things were turning for the better for you and your person. So that's a recent past energy between the two of you. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Seven of Cups, and it's with the Fool card. Now, the Seven of Cups can actually be, be a card. It's a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization and having too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. You could probably be trying to do too much and doing most of it not well. So there's a need to just choose a few, a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one, one by one, you may start to feel overwhelmed. But just remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. <clears throat> now it's with a full card. Now with this one, it's, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it actually indicates the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. Children, we know they're trusting, and trust forms the meaning for this card. So it's generally considered to be a positive card in the deck, but it's going to be important for you to be sure you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing, but if you do so, Without any thought whatsoever. It could be a big mistake. Yeah, that's um, 
the full card. Yeah. If you can see in the picture, he's ready to take a leap of faith. It's the card below the word present. He's just ready to jump right on in there for some type of maybe new beginning. He's not, well, in this picture of the full card for this deck, he's not watching where he's going, so it looks like he could be about to land into the Pacific Ocean because that's all blue water below him. So, yeah, you have to be be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because somebody's ready to take a leap of faith and just go for it. So, coming up, Virgo, a Seven of Cups, clarified by the Fool. So, yeah. Yeah, like I said, you, you you used to have to fight for this connection. But you like I said, you did because you felt like things could get better or things were feeling like they were um taking a turn for the better. Now it looks like somebody's got options here. Yeah, you could feel like your person has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. This could be you or your person, though, this Seven of Cups. But if you're feeling like your person has a lot of options, it looks like they're, they're ready to choose you. They're, they're ready to take a leap of faith towards a new beginning or a fresh new start towards you. Because, yeah, this fool card, they're ready to just jump right on in there. They're ready to take a risk. They're ready to take a chance towards you. Even if they do have options. They're, they're looking at you. You're the one that they really want. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We have the Two of Wands. And it's with the Magician. Now, with the Two of Wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands... It often indicates a partnership with another person. So this could be business, it could be personal, or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So things are feeling out of balance for you. Just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. Now, it's with the Magician card, which is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. If you do the magic yourself, because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So your challenge, Virgo, two of wands, clarified by the magician. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, you know your person has options. But it looks like they could be deciding that you're the one. But then you could have two paths towards the future. Maybe you have a couple of options. With this two of wands here, the card above the word challenge. Yeah, you could also have a couple of choices to decide. Because the two of wands is about trying to make a decision. Do you want this one or do you want that one? It could be about um, 
two paths towards the future. Yeah, because if you look at the card above the word challenge, that's the two of wands. He's got his hand tied to one wand, but the back is to it. And then the other wand, he's got his ankle tied to it. His body is facing it. He's looking right into the eyes of that wand. So there's one option that really, really sparks really sparks your attention it, it gets you excited the other one you just have your hand tied to it and your back is to it yeah now because it's with the magician it's indicating that yeah you could be trying to manifest some great things for the new year yeah maybe Maybe you've got some great expectations and great plans for the new year. You ready for some new beginning? So, yeah. But you need to make a decision. Yeah. You, two of Wands is about you haven't made a decision yet, but you're trying to. Now your person, it looks like they're choosing you. Yeah, if they don't have a lot of options, they could be the type that just do too much. They've got a lot going on, but they would stop everything for you. Yeah, but you've got a couple of options here. You're trying to decide. Because you've got great expectations for 2021. You're trying to manifest some wonderful things for, I would say, for your life. For you, you want to make sure you're choosing the right one this time. So, that's what's coming up for the challenge. Now, let's move on over. Well, let's take a look and see what the option, I mean, see what the outcome is. So, we got the Page of Pentacles, and it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom in some ways. So you could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. But you might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Because we all know excitement, it can be created. Page of Pentacles is actually a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives you focus. It gives you backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, it's with the four, four of Wands, which can indicate you may be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So make sure you go. You'll have a great time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well at this time. So you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. Keep in mind, although this four of wands, it's a positive card to get in your reading, it does show that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know that you're probably still in a building up phase, and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. The Four of Wands can sometimes mean that you could be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. So, the outcome for a page of Pentacles clarified by, by the Four of Wands. So, yeah, like I said, you've got two paths towards the future. But you want some, you got some new beginning you got in mind. Like I said, somebody or something is sparking your interest there. Because you got your ankle tied to it, your body is facing it, and you're looking right into the eyes of this person. Or a situation if it's not a person. Um, but you got great expectations for this new year. So you're trying to make sure you make the right decision this time.
Maybe in the past you've made a lot of wrong decisions. So, the outcome with this Page of Pentacles is indicating that It's indicating that you could be bored or over. You're over someone or something. You, you're kind of bored with it. It's lost its luster. This could be with the person that's um, ready to take a leap of faith towards you. The full card. This person that um, you felt had a lot of options or... This person that's always busy, and you used to have to um, f fight for the connection with, in the recent past with this person. Someone, someone, or something you're really bored with, and you're kind of over it. And you could be thinking about, actually, some of you are thinking about maybe settling down. Or you could be thinking about someone that you would like to get serious with. Because the four, four of wands, the card below the word outcome, this card is actually, um, it's the commitment card. Yeah, it could be about um, the connection going to the next level, even marriage. It's the marriage long-term commitment card. So there could be someone that you you want to you want things to be um, more more committed, or there's someone that you could be wanting something serious with, and then there's someone that you're just kind of like over. You're over and just kind of bored with the whole situation. Well, just it looks like coming up, the challenge is that you got to make a decision. Yeah, because you, you got some great expectations with the magician here for new beginnings for this new year. So, Virgo, that's a reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. And we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person. The other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So for God, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.